drew specific reference to Amuna versus fear. Right? Understanding the benefits that are attached to Amuna and the downfall, if you will, of fear. Right? And Whose report are you going to believe? Right, whose report are you going to believe? Are you going to move in Amuna? Or are you going to accept that which Hasatan has to offer? See, he's master. He's skillful. And no doubt, you know, there's things that have been generated at, by his hands and there are things that you has done, right? But we understand those things that you brings aren't for us. It's not for us. You uses these events, these natural events, right? as a judgment to the wicked. That's just scripture. Who sends droughts, he sends rain. He sends these things as no form of judgment. It's just a fact. It's, it's in there. It's in the talk. But there are some things that Hasatan does. Some things that are manipulated. Right? Some things that every... Some things are represented by the hands of man. Right? You know, we don't know necessarily what it is or when they do what they do, but what we understand is the word of you is always true. You have to know, you have to be established in a Torah because Hasatan is going to bombard you with unbelief. He's going to provoke anxiety. He's going to try to take away your peace. He's going to try to affect your rest. He's going to try to make you doubt. Try to make you move in unbelief. But you have to know what Yahuwah is saying. You have to have an established relationship with you in Torah that renews, transforms the ways you think and establishes your heart, right? In what he says. Um, now. Can 
you can't give in to the, the schemes, the devices, the influences that Hasatan constantly tries to bombard you with. You have to stand firm on the Torah. And you have to let him know that this is what the word of you will say. That's what you should do. He has to flee from the Torah and the command of Yahu in the name of Yahushua, the Torah. But you got to believe said word. You have to believe the word of Yahu. And if Yahu speaks to you, you have to obey, you have to comply. So read Matthew 8. And uh, ultimately he was looking to read right, right, the scriptures in reference to Yahushua. The event that occurred with him and his disciples right, in the ship. started off reading the first verse right and that's down towards the 23rd verse on the down right? it's just renewing right? establishing that which you already know placing myself in this righteous position of Amunah not being moved by what I see. So, Matthew the 8th chapter, and this is not going to be long. Matthew the 8th chapter, the first verse, it's going to be long enough. All right? And when he had come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed Jerusha. Everybody that followed Jerusha didn't have faith. People had motives. You know, they knew that Yahuwah would feed them. They knew that Yahuwah would provide for them. Some of them knew that if they got to him, they would be healed. But it didn't necessarily change the fact that their heart was never changed. As people walked away from Yahushua experiencing miracles. They want to change. Right? And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him. A leper. He didn't even belong in the midst of everybody else. He was unclean. But it didn't matter to him because he knew he needed what Yahushua had. And he knew that if Yahushua wanted to, right, Yahushua could touch him and he would be cleansed. But you know, you know he was unclean physically under this oppression. Everywhere he went, he had to let everybody know that he was unclean. 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 He got to Yahushua. Turned around the people. He was like, Yahushua, listen, listen, listen. Behold, I worship you. I magnify you. I adore you, son of the Most High. You're worthy of praise. You're worthy of glory, you're worthy of honor, in spite of his condition. Unclean. Unclean, he recognized that Yahushua had what he needed. And he was willing to endure whatever was necessary 
in order to get to use and have you use to touch him. Right. He says, if thou will, thou canst make me clean. You can remove this, this burden. You can destroy this yoke. If you want to, I believe you can. I know you can. But if you want to, not everybody is willing to touch me. Not everybody is willing to have me in their presence, right? You who should send it to him, you who should put forth his hand. I'm gonna demonstrate to you how much I wanna do this for you. See, I, I know you're unclean. I know you are unclean, but I'm gonna put forth my hand and I'm gonna touch you. I want you clean. I will be thou clean. And immediately the leprosy was cleansed. Immediately. No longer had he have to cry, unclean, unclean, immediately. But he had to believe and trust that you would somehow want to touch him physically. He put his hands on him. He had to believe that he was of value to use. And though he was a curse to everybody else, Yahush is like, nah, I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna touch you. Put forth my hand and I'm gonna touch you. And immediately, by the demonstration of the Ru Hakakodesh's might, the power to heal was released immediately. Right, he was cleansed. Now, what Yahusha says after this. Significant, right? I don't know, Yusuf never really says anything that's not significant, but it's significant because he he wants to lay out a demonstration. Yusha says unto him, See thou tell no man. Tell nobody what I've done. Right? right. But listen. Go thy way to the priest. Do as Moses and the Torah has instructed when you are cleansed. Right? Offer up a gift offering to you, to the priest. Right? For a testimony to them. For a testimony to the leaders of Yasharal and Yahuwah. That's a testimony. That's a demonstration. You are cleansing your, your sacrifice is a reflection of the truth of the word of you. Testimony. The 
men may know that Yahuwah is a deliverer. Even of the lepers. Go tell them. Right? He says here in Yerusha. And when Yerusha was entered in Capernaum. Right? There came unto him a centurion. Begging you. Gentile. Gentile. Not necessarily a Hebrew that was Greek or Hellenized. This was a Gentile. Saying, I don't know my servant lines. Of the palsy and is grievously tormented. A servant. He serves me. I made this trek to you because I have Amunah and what I've heard. You I have Amunah in the Torah. That I've heard the word that had been spoken concerning you. Right? He's saying, Adonai, my servant lieth at home, sick with the palsy, and is grievously torment. And Yahushua says unto him, I will come and heal. I'm, I'm going to come with you to heal them. Now, you should know. I got this Gentile. Was not going to need him to come. But the Gentiles also knew that, you know, the Yahudim just don't come into the house of Gentiles. They didn't fellowship with the other nations like that. Not 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 the righteous set apart y'all damn they were like, no, we ain't got nothing to do with them. Not the Gentiles. Oh Peter said, listen, 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 listen. Uh, I, it, 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 when he was talking in reference to Cornelius Right, who was also a centurion. Right? Listen, listen, listen. You know it's not lawful for us to come into your house. The centurion, right? He had some idea, a Torah, a word. And that compelled him to make the trek to Yahushua on behalf of his servant. That man that has served him has now all of a sudden been stricken by Hasatan with palsy, bent up, torment. He said unto you, she says, the centurion answered said, I don't know, I'm not worthy. Gentile, I know that you're not supposed to come to my house. I'm not of the Yahudim. I'm not of Yat Sharon. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy because Torah says that you know this. Communion, no fellowship, no entering in unto the Gentile. And I'm a Gentile. But I got a servant that needs your help. And I know you can do 
See, I know if anybody can do it, you can do it. I've heard the reports. And I'm a man who understands legalities. I understand the value of a report. Eyewitness accounts. I understand the value attached to these things. He says, just, just, just speak a Torah only. Yeah. Speak a word only. And my sermon shall be. This is a thing of beauty. This is an example. This is a, a, a demonstration. For all Yasharal to witness. For I am a man under authority. Centurion says. Right? I have soldiers under me. And I say to this man. Go and he goeth. And to another come and he cometh. And to my servant do this and he doeth it and you over shit right it's listening to this man's vocalization of faith from his mouth because from the abundance of the mouth the heart speaks this man was convinced in his heart that Yahuwah Yahushua could deliver him. He was convinced. No matter what the science was saying, no matter how far he had to go, he knew what he had heard. He had understood the reports that he would receive. And he knew that if there was anybody that can do it, it was Yahushua. Yahushua. Marveled. Of amazement. This Gentile. This heathen. Servant of Rome. Gentile. Believed in his heart. Because from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. You should stand unto them that followed. Are you hearing this? He's saying unto them that followed him, that accompanied Jews, bruised, who don't want to believe the report. He says unto them, Verily, verily, verily I say unto you, truly, I say unto you, because I, I speak the truth, because I'm full of grace and truth. I am the Torah made flesh, I'm telling you the truth. I have not found so great a faith in all the nations. Just this Gentile centurion who came to me 
on behalf of his servant made the trek understood that he was a Gentile and wasn't even worthy to have Yahushua come to his house he knew but yet he knew in his heart if anybody could do it, Yahushua could. See, I, I know this. There is hope for me in Milton. It's in you. It's in you. I know in my heart that you was a deliverer. So from my lips, I speak in Amuna with the expectation of having what I say. He says, for if he talks about being a man under authority. Then he says, and then you just says, right? Marveled. Truly, I have not found so great a faith in all Yahshua, right? He says, this is significant. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and the west. Speaking in reference to the other nation. Verily I say unto you, truly I say unto you, he says, and I say unto you, that many shall come from the east and the west and shall sit down with Avraham, Yusak, and Jacob in the kingdom of the Shamayim, or the kingdom that comes down from the Shamayim. Many. Right? But here's the kicker, right? This is why he looked to them that followed and began to speak, right? But the children of the kingdom, Yasharal and Yehuda, of whom salvation has come, who had a covenant in Yaakov, Yahuwah established at the foundation of the world a peculiar people. People stiff necked don't want to believe the truth, but want to believe everything they hear. They don't want to hold on to the Torah. They don't want to hold on to Yahuwah in our moon now. He says here, but the children of the kingdom shall be cast into utter darkness. Right? But there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Why? Because they just don't want to believe. They don't want to put in the word to transform the way they think. They don't want to put in the word to renew their mind. They don't walk, want to walk in the discipline of obedience. They'd rather beg for help from Yahushua. Walk away with a blessing and continue business as usual. That's Israel. Me? That's 
for me and my house? Come on, sir. Move. And Yahushua sent him to the centurion. Go that way. Go that way. As thou hast believed. I told you to stay. Take a stand in it. I'm your deliverer. I'm the deliverer. I'm the answer to your prayer. See, this thing gotta be real to you. This, 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 this has to be real to you. Salvation, the word, the Torah, it has to be real to you. You gotta be convinced. You gotta be willing to make the trek. Yahushua said, go thy way as thou hast believed. I believe that you will put a bubble dome over me. I believe that you will deliver the nation. Those he has chosen from amongst this fiasco. Because you know, there's this, this, this knowledge that they've had to create weapons. What well, systems? I mean, it's, it's patented, it's documented, you know. And the feeling is, is that you know the way this hurricane came over across, running in a direction that it's not normally running. It's not a natural direction, natural course. Right? But all of a sudden, it surfaces. You know, somebody has an objective, right? But. Their objective is not going to affect me. Yeah, of course. Their objective is not going to affect my house. I'm established. I believe. Right? He says, even, even as thou hast believed, so be it unto thee. And the centurion's servant was healed that self same hour. Yahuwah has established my deliverance already in the Shammai. Let's get down to the 18th chapter. I mean the 18th verse. verse. Now, the 14th, the 17th, that deals with healing physically of Peter's mother. Right? But I want to get to the 18th verse. Right? Matter of fact, let's skip. No, I like that. Verse 18. And now when you should, and now when you should saw great multitudes about, he gave command to depart to the other side. He said, okay, it's a lot of people, let's go to the other side. And a certain scribe came and said unto him, Master, I will follow thee with us wherever thou goest. And you should said unto him, the foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of man have nowhere to lay his head. And another of his disciples said unto him, I don't know, I suffer me first to go and bury my father, my father. But you should say unto him, Follow me. Let the dead bury the dead. See, some people say that's harsh. Huh? Some people say, man, like, it's, it's, it's 
Do you really want to follow you? Do you really want to believe? Do you really want to stand? Right? Let the dead bury the dead. Right. So, you know, the, the disciples is witnessing all of this. Those that follow Yahushua. I will follow you wherever you go. I will follow you wherever you go. There came a point when you said, unless you drink of my, eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, you have no part in me. Over 70 disciples following you. And at that point, he said, well, you know, this, this, this is too tough right here. Yeah, you know, we realized that, you know, we had power. We was casting out devils and we was doing some things. But, you know, it's eating my body and drinking my flesh. But that's too much. That's too much. It's too much. It's too much. I'll follow you anywhere, Yosha. I will obey the Torah. I will walk in belief. Will you? Who said foxes have holes, the birds of the year have nest. Some men have nowhere to lay his head. No peace. He had peace within himself. And he, the world hated him. Came to his own. Everyone see. Right, so, 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 let's get down to these next few verses. Significant. The Most High woke me up yesterday. The middle of the night, and I was kind of. I was in sleep mode. And this is what he brought to me. Right. And when they had entered into a ship, and when he had entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. You know who she got on a boat? His disciples followed him. They go into the other side. Right? And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea. Milk. There arose great tempest in the sea. Milk. Insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves. But you who should sleep. Now you know, he just told them the foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the son of man didn't have nowhere to lay his head. Yet he's in the bow of the boat. This is, this is a cat. Category storms. <laughs> Beating havoc, raining havoc on the ship. But you should sleep. He had nowhere to lay his head. See, you should try to say this. this, this. I have a peace because I have Yahuwah on the inside. I have Abba ever present with me. There is nothing that's going to befall me before it's time. 
no matter what the conditions are, you was a deliverer. You was impossible sleep. And I'm laying in the bed and, and sleep and I'm seeing this, right? And I'm not physically seeing this, but it's like I'm hearing this story, this story. This And his disciples came to him and woke him, saying, Adonai, save us. We about to die. <laughs> save us. You who you are, my light and my salvation. You are the strength of my life. You are the way, the truth, and the life. From my heart, I make confession with my mouth of faith and belief. I believe Torah. I believe Torah. I believe the word says. I ain't staggering at the promises of Yahuwah. Through unbelief, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Now you you crazy? How would you stay? Why are you crazy? You understand what's coming at you? I trust in you. You know, last night, me and all in the bed last night. Looking out the window, I see the neighbor across the street put boards on his house late at night. You know, no doubt he probably couldn't get to it, but then he put boards all along all his windows. Right. You know, I got these awnings that kind of float, come over the windows, and I just screw them in. But then there's other areas that I don't really even worry about because I just just don't feel like that's going to be an issue if any circulation or anything comes. But I ain't worried about it anyway because, you know, you would come over by it. Me and my wife, we got together and we prayed. She looked out there and she said, you know, babe, you know, I, I see some of this uh, other added stuff that they, you know, it's being done, but, you know, I just, she looked at me and said, I trust you. Come on, man. Let's. We stagger not at the promises of you through unbelief. So I took him by the hand and we prayed again and agreed in a tour. We spoke a word to Abba Yahuwah. And we believe that he's able to do what he says so. Save us. Distress. Fear. They had the son of you in the bow of the boat. The storm has arisen. Out of nowhere. The storm has arisen. Just came up. Turn into a, a cat all of a sudden. And the gulf is a cat. Category five. Category four. And he said unto them, Why are you fearful? Why? 
why I'm so full of fear. And if you know, I already understood that. The demonstration that says that, you know, all you got to speak a word. They heard you. Who should tell this man? This man tell you who should. Listen, I know I ain't worthy, but all you got to do is speak a word. My mere presence. If you will, you can heal me. I will. In what part of any of those equations did you who should ever come up short in delivering anything? Yeah, you're in the bow of the ship. Yeah, you probably got a cat three, cat four, maybe raising up. You on the sea, and you know the waves is crashing over, and the water maybe starting to enter the boat, but you know, you was just like, foxes have holes, birds of the air have nests, the son of man has no way to lay his head, but you know, he's sleep because he has found a place to rest. Why are you afraid? Why are you fearful? Why are you afraid? Why are you fearful? Listen, oh ye of little Amuna. You have me. Son of the living you, thou art a Mashiach. Damn, such a bloody red. See what the fuck up. Oh, ye of little faith. Why fear ye, O little of faith? Then he arose. And did what? He spoke a word. He rebuked. He spoke a word. Right? He rebuked. I mean, that Greek word is. Strong's G, 2008. Epitimao. 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 Right? That is a severely, a, a, a censure, a severe rebuke and admonishment. And charge sharply. It's also to show honor, to honor, to raise the price of, to judge. But I would tend to gravitate to to reprove, rebuke, to admonish sharply. So here you have Yahushua. Right? Have Yahushua. Getting up from his sleep and speaking to the way. Milton. Yahushua rebuke you. It's 
And I said, well, you know, you know what Seth did? Any haste, he's going to deliver. Because it's not a judgment for me. Yahushua spoke a word. Say a word, Yahushua. Say a word, Elder. Milton. No weapon formed against us shall succeed. He will give his angels charge over us to keep us in all his ways. You know, if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything you ask of Abba, it will be done. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever demonstration of authority you bring forth is supported in the Shaman. The loose on us should be loose to And there was a great calm. Somebody said, So you mean to tell me you think you're going to speak a Torah? And Milton's going to calm down. I'm going to speak a Torah. And you are going to do what's necessary for me. <laughs> and all those who believe his word. Who believes that a word could be spoken. You said whosoever shall say. Unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. And shall not doubt in his heart. But believe the things that he says shall come to pass. You shall have what he says. Yeah. So. I say the Torah. Over the situation, over the circumstances, according to Torah, according to the Word made flesh, I refuse to stagger at the promises of Yahuwah to unbelief, and I declare this Torah on behalf of those who agree and believe the same thing that belong to you through faith in Hamashiach Yahushua Yahushua's promise to deliver he has not appointed us to wrath to judgment and listen anything that arises because of the influences of man who may allow. But you know what? It's going to speak. It's going to be subject. It's going to obey when it comes to his chosen. Man of y'all, woman of y'all, listen. Trust in you. Follow what he tells you to do. Listen. We've been at this. We've seen you who deliver us from Helen. Helene. Helene. We got crazy storm surf. We got crazy storm surf. We got wind. We ain't really getting any rain. Power didn't go out. None of that. I was ready for it. And then all of a sudden, this, this hurricane that developed, 
it doesn't run a track that normal hurricanes run to get into the Gulf? Milton, I rebuke you. <laughs> In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, I stand on the Torah. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, called the greatness. Woman of you will be a flea one if you made the day you was famous. Listen, having done all the stand, stand. Whatever it is, be the demonstration that believes. Knowing that all you have to do is say a word in Torah from a place of obedience. Being born again of the water rule, his. He's got you. Master, listen, if you will, you should put forth his hand, touch that unclean man, that leper. Yeah, I will. Who will move on behalf of Satyria? Speak the word. Demonstration of righteousness, you gotta understand that. You better hear the word of you. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, call the greatness again. Trust in you. Trust in his word and be blessed. That I said, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.